AWS Well Architected Labs. If you study in AWS Cloud and you haven't heard of it, you don't want to miss this. In this video today, we're going to be discussing AWS Well Architected Labs. I'm just going to give you a somewhat brief overview of what the AWS Well Architected Labs is. I will be explaining the AWS Well Architected Framework in another video on this playlist. This is just going to be an introduction to the labs and starting the series of completing the labs here on YouTube. So for right now, what we're going to do is I'm just going to take you right over show you what the website looks like, show you what it consists of and everything like that. So what we're going to do is we'll zoom this down right here like this here. And as you can see, I've already traveled to the location. So this is the AWS Well Architected Labs site. If you type in your browser, wellarchitectedlabs.com, it will bring you here. This is a great place to be if you're trying to learn the AWS architecture and resources and implementing those resources on the architecture, right? AWS tells you how to do it well, hence the name Well Architected Labs, right? So as you can see, there's a little navigation bar on the left and then it takes you through some information here on the front. Now there are six pillars to the Well Architected Framework from AWS. And the Well Architected Labs site gives you labs that are categorized under those pillars. So the six pillars are operational excellence, security, reliability, performance, efficiency, cost optimization, and sustainability, right? Those are the six. And uh, Well Architected Labs gives you labs that you can go through and uh, complete to help you learn AWS architecture and resources using the Well Architected Framework given out to you from AWS. So I'll just read a little bit of the introduction on this site. It says, the Well Architected Framework has been developed to help cloud architects build the most secure, high-performing, resilient, and efficient infrastructure possible for their applications. This framework pr provides a consistent approach for customers and partners to evaluate architectures and provide guidance to help implement designs that will scale with your application's needs over time. This repository contains documentation and code in the format of hands-on labs to help you learn, measure, build, and use architectural best practices. The labs are categorized into levels where 100 is introductory, 2 to 300 is intermediate, and 400 is advanced. So each pillar of the well-architected framework has labs associated with it. And they range from 100, we'll say easy, 2 to 300, we'll say medium, hard, and 400, hard. There's some prerequisites you'll need in order to do these labs, and they tell them to you right here. You definitely will need an AWS account. And if you don't have an AWS account, lucky for you that I've created a video, which is in this playlist, that teaches you how to go out and get you an AWS account. Okay, it says um, an AWS account that you are able to use for testing that is not used for production or other purposes. So don't try to do these labs at your work production environment. If they gave you a dev sandbox and told you to go to town, by all means go to town, I, I suppose, but do be advised that you will be billed for any applicable AWS resources used if you complete this lab and, and it's, it's not covered by the AWS free tier. So the AWS free tier, whenever you go and create an account, there's a free tier. They let you experiment with different AWS resources for free, basically. And so there's a lot of resources covered in the AWS free tier. Many aspects of these labs will be covered by the free tier, so there won't be a charge. But 
likely once you get to the advanced levels, there's going to be charges for setting up some of these uh, designs, right? So that's just a note to keep in mind. Now, as far as the labs goes, the labs are structured around the six pillars of the well-architected framework, like I mentioned before. Uh, and those six pillars are here. They also have a well-architected tool, well-architected partners, and a contributing guide. You can contribute to labs on this site. It's an open source lab resource. Okay, so the first pillar, operational excellence. If you click it, you will see it gives you an introduction and shows you what labs are available under that. They've got 100 labs and 200 labs. There's two 100s and one 200. First lab is inventory and patch management. Second lab is dependency monitoring. And then you have the automating operations with playbooks and run books, 200 level lab. And that is just the first pillar. If we clicked on the second pillar security, you'll see an introduction as well. And you'll see what labs are available. And in addition to labs, there are what is called quests that you can go and do in conjunction with the lab that are optional that will give you extra, you know, uh, experience, uh, so to speak. Uh, so you can see here, there's a 100 level. These are foundational labs and you can see them listed here. And then you got your 200 level intermediate labs also listed here and your 300s, your quests. So there's plenty, plenty of labbing to be done on this site. This is a gold mine for someone who's really interested in learning how to implement uh, AWS architectures. And you might be uh, getting ready to do a certification for cloud practitioner, or you might be getting ready to do a solutions architect or a DevOps certification, and you're interested in working with AWS cloud technology, and maybe even joining AWS using your skills to help build uh, awesome infrastructure for AWS. And so that was the security pillar. Uh, the next one is reliability. It gives you your introduction and, and your labs, as you can see, got plenty of labs for reliability. They even got disaster recovery. Next one is performance efficiency introduction and here is your labs for performance efficiency. Looks like there are four 100 level labs in there. Next one, cost optimization. Comes with a little video, introduction, labs. And by the way, I haven't seen any of these. I haven't actually watched these videos or done these labs yet. I'm going to be doing these labs right here on YouTube. So there will be a video for every lab on an ongoing basis as I have time to go through and complete these. The next one is going to be sustainability. And it gives you some information about sustainability. And there are your labs. And then there's three other categories on in this navigation bar. So there's well-architected tool. This is an actual tool offered by AWS. And then there's some labs associated with it. There's a video to watch here. Well-architected partners. This gives some information about that. And then the contributing guide. So once you get good and become a master and you're doing 400 level uh, labs like they're nothing, then you can contribute to the community by creating or, or updating the labs that are already here. So I think that'll be a cool thing to do. And so there you have it, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the well-architected labs. It's built around the well-architected framework from AWS. This is the place where you're going to come and get your lab practice, get your experience building and designing architectures beyond anything that you would find in AWS uh, Skills Builder or any uh, third party uh, boot camps or so on and so forth, right? So I think this is a, a wonderful resource and uh, I would be glad to have y'all along with my journey because I plan on completing all of these. So 
you'll be able to come right along with me and complete them with me. How's that sound? Nice, right? Yes. Okay. So now I'm going to do the first, I'm going to do the first one. Operational excellence in the well architect labs, 100 inventory and patch management. That's going to management. That's going to be a video all to itself. It'll come in right behind this one in an upload. This was just a quick video to introduce you to the uh, well architected labs from AWS. And until the next video, tech fam, peace.